643 on a Thursday morning, taking a look at what is left of the downtown camera here in the capital city. The big news this morning, Rob, it actually feels like it, October. There you go. It does. I, I it's saw you had a, a temperature in the 50s somewhere. Uh, is we that had right? two for a little while. Wow. We're down, down to just one. Um, but the key is. Uh, the the high, the still getting up there. Yeah. We hit 90 yesterday. We're probably going to get there again today. So it does start cooler. It is going to get warmer. The afternoon temperatures are still high and higher than normal, right? We're at the point in the year where daytime highs are supposed to stop in those lower to middle 80s. Maybe we get there next week, but I think we'll, let's go with the encouraging news here. We've got a lot of mid 60s and lower to get us started this morning and expected the same way tomorrow morning and hopefully on Saturday too. Way out to the east, a couple of clouds, maybe a few sprinkles, possible. Most of our area, though, going to see a lot of sunshine today, and that's what's going to propel those temperatures up, and that's why I think we're going to be looking for those really high daytime highs. Thomasville, we're at 61 right now, had 59 for a little while, just a little while ago. It's 64 in Valdosta. Tallahassee at the airport is actually one of our warmer spots at 68. How about the 59 at Blakely or the 61 at Camilla and Monticello? It's 64 at St. Mark, 63 at Quincy. This is where temperatures are supposed to be in the second week of October around here. I see a little bit of a breeze out of the east and northeast, and many of our areas are going to feel that breeze at times today. Nothing that we're going to call windy or anything, but a little breeze bringing in more of the drier air. To our south and east, that's where any of the clouds and showers are. You really get a much better look at the dry air when we go to the water vapor imagery. Images of the upper part of the atmosphere, we see that orange color. That is bone dry air, and that's why it's going to be real hard for us to talk about any kind of shower chances. Next boundary, trying to get here over the weekend, it's going to struggle a little bit. And like the last one, all of the energy and all of the juice associated with it and all of the cool air looks like it wants to stay well off to the north, which means we don't expect any significant changes, even if the boundary can get through the area. And I'm still not convinced that it can. We'll be looking for a third boundary, middle of next week. That one has a better chance to bring us some more significantly fall-like weather. The key here is the upper levels of the atmosphere. They're absolutely more supportive to push these boundaries through, and that's a big step in the right direction for us getting some different kind of weather. So we'll just have to take baby steps and be patient over the next week or so. Winds on the Gulf today, east 10 to 20, seas 2 to 4 feet. A little breezy for the boaters today and likely going to stay that way into the weekend. Low tides are underway now. They'll finish up just before 9 o'clock. 60s and 70s, we'll call it mostly clear and cooler. Sun up at 736 this morning. I think 90 is within reach, and even if we don't get there, we're going to get close. So warm this afternoon with plenty of sunshine. Mid-60s tonight, mostly clear skies. That sun sets 712. Gets dark in a hurry this time of year, and it's going to start getting even earlier. Of course, we change those clocks. We still change the clocks this year, first weekend of November, so about three weeks from now. As far as that forecast goes, I still think those top temperatures flirting with 90 today and tomorrow. Hopefully that's the last time for a while because it should cool down at least a little bit this weekend.